Hello, folks. Welcome back to my next Touch Designer tutorial. As promised, I'm going to give a basic introduction on how to do pixel mapping with the Arduino and Touch Designer. As I mentioned before in the previous tutorial, it is really handy to use Touch Designer and Arduino as a combination to do some rapid prototyping. So, in this one, the model I'm using is the WSB 2811B LED strip. It is a little bit tricky to control the addressable LED lights compared to the Arduino single LED lights. Because it's actually very challenging the ability of the Arduino board itself. If you know the principle of how the addressable LED lights work. And of course, Sometimes you definitely need to pay some extra patience to debug with it. If you have some experience, you definitely know what I'm talking about. So, okay, I'm going to introduce it as clear as I can. But if you're still facing some problem after following my tutorial, and you still cannot figure it out, just put your comments down below or reach out to me on Instagram. I will be very excited to help you. Before I start, I'd like to share my project. This one was my undergrad thesis project I did in 2019. I utilized the same technique to control over than 13 hundreds of LED lights and do air painting by mixing the color using the limb motion to capture your finger gestures. And also on my website, you can click Touch Designer and find another one about Touch Designer and Arduino. I believe after watching these two, you are able to use the full power of these two software. Okay, let's get start. About this Arduino code, I just assume you have some basic understand of it. So I'm not going to spend time diving too deeper to introduce the meaning of the code itself. I've already put the comments beside each part, and I will share it down below in the description. But some parts need to pay attention to. The first one is the LED count. It defines how many LED lights you want to use. The second one is the serial port. And also, I wrote these two parts for debugging when the data has been sent between different programs, which you will see in a second. And also, I've already uploaded the code to the Arduino board. It is actually nothing to do with the Arduino once you upload the code. Just delete everything and start from scratch. First, I need to bring in the ramp. Go to the resolution and change the resolution to 10 by 1 because I'm planning to light up 10 LED lights. It has been defined in the Arduino code here. And if you are doing the image pixel mapping, I will recommend you to change the resolution in the resolution top. You can go to the custom resolution and type the resolution here as well. But in this case, we will not use the resolution top. So I will delete it here. Next, I can bring in the LFO to make our ramp start to move. And also I will bring down the frequency to 0.15 and reference that value to the face. Give some color to the ramp and put the blue in the middle so that we can clearly see the effect. connect to the null at the end. Then we need to convert top to the channel data. It is giving me four channels, but I don't need the alpha channel, so I can delete it. And also change the RGBA unit to 02255. Here has a little tip for you if you want to control the brightness of the LED lights 
you can connect to the mass and map your range. So the value we send out doesn't just only control the color, it also controls the brightness of the LED lights. I'm not planning to show you this trick here, but you can try it by yourself. The last step is to connect to the shuffle, choose sequence or samples. This will make our data array arranged in RGB RGB format. Connect to the null at the end. Then we need to convert to the chop to the data by connecting to the chop to. And change the output to rows per channel. The final data we send out is the text format. So we also need to convert this table data to the text. Connect to the null at the end as always. Then we need to put down the most important operator, serial data. This is the one for bridging the Arduino and Touch Designer. First, turn it off and I will back to explain it in a second. Put on a timer chop to get ready to send out the data. Go to the output. Turn off the other two channels I don't need. What I'm going to do is I want this value reach out to 1, send out the data once. And also I need to turn on the circle and turn off the circle limit so that we can send the data continuously. Next, we can click this little tiny arrow at right bottom. It will open the timer callbacks. Here is the place where we're going to write down the Python code. Make the view a little bit bigger to get more space. Go to the define our circle section. First type in n equal op brackets quotation marks. This op stands for open. We want to open the null 3 and get the content inside of the null 3. Then I'd like to open serial data and send the text of it. op brackets quotation marks and make sure you type exact the same name. Send the text data. What's more, I can print the data in the text port inside of the touch designer to help to debug. So I can type print brackets, quotation marks again. First, give a name to my data array. Let's call it output. and open the text of no 3 Okay, great. That's it. That's all the Python code. Now we can go back to change the setting of the serial data. Let me connect the Arduino to my laptop. We need to choose the right port. Then we need to check the rate in the Arduino and match it in the touch designer. Now if I turn it down, I should able to see this sentence ready to receive the colors in the serial port. Okay, wonderful. So it means right now these two programs have been hooked up. Let's split the view and open the text board to check the data. So the text data we send out to the Arduino will show up here later. We can turn up the speed in the timer. Okay, great. Click start to run the program. Here are some parts you need to pay attention to. You will see the data appears in the text port and the message coming from the Arduino in the serial operator. Now if you connected your Arduino board, you should able to see your lights are lighted up.
Let me put the RAM in the background and turn on my camera to show you the effect. Okay, great. This is the final effect. Now, Touch Designer is communicating with the Arduino LED strip in real time. As you can see. Well, this is pretty much all the things I'd like to share in this tutorial. I hope you guys like it. See you in the next one. Take care.